we are given f of x equals cosine of 3x raised to the power of 4x, and we're asked to find f prime of x using logarithmic differentiation. Notice how here, if the exponent was just four, we could determine the derivative function using the chain rule, but because the exponent is a function of x, we will use logarithmic differentiation to determine the derivative function. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y and write the function as y equals cosine three x raised to the power of four x. And now we will take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now we can expand the right side of the equation by using the log properties. More specifically, if we look at the power property of logs, we have natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x. On the right side of the equation, we can move the exponent of four x to the front and write the right side as four x times natural log of cosine three x. This gives us the equation natural log y equals four x times the natural log of cosine three x. And now we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now on the left, when we differentiate natural log y with respect to x, because we have a function of y, we apply the chain rule and have an extra factor of dy dx. The derivative of natural log y with respect to x is one divided by y times dy dx. On the right, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation to determine the derivative with respect to x. And therefore we have the first function of four x times the derivative of the second function with respect to x. And notice to find the derivative of natural log cosine three x, we do have to apply the chain rule where the inner function is cosine three x, which we often refer to as u. The derivative of natural log u with respect to x is equal to one over u times u prime, which gives us one over cosine three x, and then times the derivative of cosine three x, which also requires a chain rule. The derivative is equal to negative sine three x times the derivative of three x, which is three. And then we have plus the second function of natural log of cosine three x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of four x with respect to x, which is four. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have one divided by y times dy dx equals, on the right in the numerator we have four x times negative sine three x times three, which gives us negative 12 x sine three x, all divided by cosine three x, and then we have plus four natural log of cosine three x. Now notice here we have sine three x divided by cosine three x, which is equal to tangent three x. So let's write this again as one divided by y times dy dx equals negative 12 x tangent three x, and then plus four natural log of cosine three x. And now for the next step, we need to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. On the left, y times one divided by y times dy dx is just dy dx. On the right, we want the derivative in terms of only x, not x and y, and therefore we will now replace y with cosine of three x raised to the power of four x. This gives us the cosine of three x raised to the power of four x times the quantity negative 12 x tangent three x plus four natural log of cosine three x. And let's continue on the next slide. And now let's replace dy dx with f prime of x and also factor out the greatest common factor of four from the parentheses. This gives us f prime of x equals, again factoring out the four from the parentheses, we have four times 
the cosine of 3x raised to the power of 4x, and then times the quantity. Let's write the positive term first, which would be natural log of cosine 3x, and then minus 3x tangent 3x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.